Hello, I'm Rob from Skid Steer Genius, and I just want to introduce you to our CB1000 controller. This is a seven pin controller that plugs directly into a Bobcat using a Trident connector, plugs straight in. And on the other end, it has a two pin Deutsch connector. The reason we use the Deutsch connector is it's really compact, they're very inexpensive. So when you're rewiring an attachment, it's really simple. It doesn't, you can find these connectors if you break one or whatever, you can find them at a, where, at a, um, um, a hardware store or even Napa, those kind of places, they have them. You can get them on a weekend or whatever, so it's not a big deal. We include a little pigtail that's got one of these on it to get you started, but just in case something happens, it's really easy and simple to get these. They're also used in marine uh, applications, so a lot of times you can get them down at the, at the marinas. So this is all it is here. On the very end, there's actually clear, these, are, these have been um, uh, put into their containers here and then they've actually been submersed in a potting compound. And what we did is the top quarter inch section here is clear compound. And the reason we did that is we buried an LED in here and this is your status LED. This tells you if it's working, this tells you what's going on inside your machine. So it's a really, a really smart thing. It's another one of our genius products that has been very popular with a lot of people and we think you'll really like this. So how this works is we plug it into our seven pin here and we're gonna use what we call B1 and B2, which is the left hand up and, up and down paddle. It's got a little picture of a, a couple of cylinders, hydraulic cylinders working against each other. That's what's on there. There's an identical one on the right stick, but we don't use that one on the single channel. We only use that on the dual channel, the four channel, the six channel. So in this case, we're actually using the upper part of the paddle and the lower part of the paddle. The reason we do that is we're able to use the upper part as a latching feature. So if you just touch the button, it'll latch this controller on. And so that's really handy in some applications where you don't want to have to hold that button and, and work your actuate your uh, hydraulics at the same time. And uh, the lower part of the paddle will reset it or also act as a momentary. So if you touch the lower part, which we call B2, you touch that button and let go, it, it'll come on and go off, come on and go off. Go to the top part of the paddle, hold it down, it comes on and stays on. Touch it again or touch the lower part, it com comes off. So it's really simple, really easy to use and, and this is the most ex inexpensive thing that we could come up with for people. It covers a lot of the applications, probably 60, 70% of the applications out there. People buy this or they'll buy the two channel. Uh, only they get into the four channels and the six channels if they're running things like a snow blower or a cold planer, a wheel saw, stump grinder. Those are the ones where we start getting into the bigger controllers. But for a lot of the little things, uh, soil conditioners, uh, brooms, a lot of the brooms out there only have a single, they only need a single solenoid to operate. Uh, this is ideal for that. So I'm just gonna run you through how this actually works now, and then uh, uh, hopefully you'll be all that much smarter, and you'll love these things. So this is pretty straightforward here. All I wanna do is uh, plug it in. And you'll see, as soon as I plug it in, you'll see the status LED flashing, okay? It's flashing green. And what that's doing is that's telling me, hey, I'm alive, I'm awake, I've got power, and I'm talking to the bus of the Bobcat. So I am perfect and ready to go here. I'm just going to reach inside and I'm going to touch the buttons, just so you get a, an idea of the status, how the status changes. So if I touch the top part, what we call B2, and I actually take my hand off. See, my hand's off now. You can see that it's latched on. So that means that there's power coming through here continuously so for something that I need even it could even work on a spray pump that type of thing um, it'll give you nine amps momentarily and six amps uh, for continuous operation that covers most of the things that are out there if you've got something that's really big that you need to run you may have to put a little relay in there so that you can carry a lot much higher current but now I'm just gonna reach up I'm gonna just gonna touch that B2 or so that B1 button again and see now it resets and I get my status back again and I, now I reach down I touch B2 and I let my finger off, you see how the status changes and it comes on and off, on and off. And again, you'll see that flickering. That flickering is a good sign. That's telling you, hey, I'm working. The bus is all in good condition. There's a fuse in the machine. That's one of the issues we had in the early days. Fuses would be blown when people were trying to use these things and they always thought that there was something wrong with the controllers and there's not. So once again, I'll hit B1. It's latched on, hit B1 again, and there we go. Now I'm just going to show you from inside the cab how that works. So here I am, I've got my left hand on the left stick here. And what I have here is, this is what we call B1. See the little paddle? We call it a paddle. And it's got a little uh, cylinder here and a little cylinder here. We just push that button and that's what we use to lock. We push this button, that's what we use for momentary. 
If we lock it with this button, we can touch it anywhere. We can touch this part or this part and it will unlock it. And it's that simple. Now you have to remember this does not turn the pump on and off. Okay, The pump does not get turned on and off when we use this. So you have to always remember that these are just buttons that select. And I want to come over to the stick over here and I either use this, this little toggle that goes left and right, that turns my pump on momentarily either forward or reverse. So depending on which way I turn this, my pump is either going to go in the forward direction or the rear direction. Now if I want to lock my pump on, I want to come around to this side and this trigger button right here, this triggers my pump on and off. So touch it once, pump comes on, stays on. Touch it again, it turns off. Now of course this is all has to happen with your hydraulic control button turned on. So to make this actually work, I have to touch this button and see this LED, this little light comes on. This tells me that, okay, I'm ready to go here. Now I can use my hydraulics. If you're not getting any hydraulics operating on your machine, make sure you've got the key on, everything's running, and you've touched this button here. Then you can come down and you can use either this toggle or you can come around and use this button here. Okay. I hope you've learned something here. Once again, I'm Rob from Skits Your Genius. If you have any questions, contact us through the website, email, or give us a call. Uh, we're always happy to take your inquiries. Uh, it's always nice, though, if you check the FAQ first. We're always posting more and more information about this as we as we learn a little bit more from our customers and what they're needing. So we're always trying to put new, new information up and keep everything nice and fresh up there. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks very much.